Hi everybody, Dr. Liz Carter here, and I wanted to do a really quick book review of a book I just finished that I thought you all might enjoy that is about trauma in ourselves and in other people and empathy for ourselves and for other people. It's a really, really fabulous, well-written, lovely book that I'm going to try not to give you any spoilers on, but just an overview as to why I liked it and why I actually think it's super helpful um, when looking at your health to read this book. So it's a work of fiction, and here it is. It is Eleanor Oliphant, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, which you can see by the photo or the, the cover that maybe she kind of isn't completely fine. <laughs> um, that is actually kind of the thesis of the book, right? So Eleanor, the main character, is this very lovable curmudgeon who is socially awkward and very lonely due to a lot of unprocessed trauma from childhood. And the book is all about her awakening, um, her realizing that this is actually trauma and it's holding her back and what she needs to do to move through that. Um, so there are a couple themes that I really, really love. Um, and I love recommending this book because I think the author um, really portrayed her incredibly accurately in terms of how somebody moves through trauma or adapts or copes with trauma, um, maybe from childhood where they don't have very healthy coping mechanisms and they don't know what to do, um, and how they carry that into adulthood, and how for us on the outside, for the, the outsider looking in, that often looks a lot like social awkwardness and loneliness. Maybe somebody is not even trying to connect with other people, um, maybe solely because they don't know how. They weren't taught that, they weren't given support and love uh, that they needed, um, and that that social awkwardness that can make us feel kind of like angry or irritable with somebody, um, that there's actually a ton behind it, right? Um, and I think that's a really, really important message of this book is it, it looks at somebody who is socially awkward and looks at it from their point of view. Um, and from Eleanor's point of view, we are all the crazy ones. She's not crazy. <laughs> she doesn't really have any problems. She's just going through the world as, mu as well as she can. And we are all the ones that are kind of weird and strange. Um, so from her insular perspective, that makes sense. But I love it because it starts to give you um, an insight into somebody who might make you feel uncomfortable um, and maybe have you self-reflect and say like, hey, why am I uncomfortable, right? Like, is this bringing up something in me um, that I identify with that I don't like? Or um, having empathy for that other person, realizing that beyond that maybe harsh exterior or awkwardness or loneliness that's there, there's a really in intense reason usually, right, that people isolate themselves. Um, and usually it is from this unprocessed emotion or trauma that's happened in childhood or some other time in life. So that message in this book um, is really, really clear to me that there's always more um, than meets the eye to people and that it's really, really important not to judge on uh, first glance. And Eleanor actually goes through that quite a bit herself with um, learning to trust other people and allow them to help support her. Um, so I love that message of this book. And I also think it's an incredibly realistic portrayal of trauma, how somebody moves through that process from her um, kind of beginning where she's not really aware of it to this kind of awakening she has to um, the crux of where she tries to turn it around and how she falls down and picks herself back up. Um, it's a really, really relatable story um, and I think incredibly well written. So anyone who has had trauma um, and we all do, <laughs> um, but especially unprocessed or, or a, large, a large amount that is just kind of sitting there and needing help moving through, I think this book, um, even though it's a work of fiction, right, and I actually think that's, that's probably better because it's more accessible and fun to read, um, I think could be really healing for a lot of people. I think it's a beautiful way to see how somebody can choose to evolve and transform, um, even though it's incredibly difficult, and she goes through all of that um, in this book. The other thing about this book that I love that I think is so important um, and accurate for um, processing trauma and how we move through it is that Eleanor finds support for other people, and hopefully this isn't too much of a, a spoiler, from other people, um, but there, you know, there are threads of romance, but the romance is not what gets her through the trauma. And I think that is so, so crucial because I think in so many books and TV and movies, we see, you know, this, this hurt person. And then we go into this, you know, Florence Nightingale syndrome where, oh my gosh, we need to pick them up and build them up. And I need to give myself over to them. Usually it's the woman doing that for the man. Um, 
and there becomes this kind of codependency thing, right? So it's not just you and the other person in the relationship at that point, it's you, the trauma, and that person. And a lot of times that middle ground with that trauma, it's gonna cause a lot of misunderstanding, or you ended up being with that person um, for the wrong reasons completely because you thought they would help you process the trauma, right? Um, and there's a completely different uh, idea there between having two people that support each other that are independent, right? And realize this is my stuff and this is my stuff and they're not trying to give it to each other or what we often see, right, is this codependency, this, oh my gosh, I need you to build me up and I need you to process this and it's, it's putting our unprocessed trauma on somebody else, which is not fair and leads to a very unhealthy relationship um, overall. So with this amount of trauma. So in this book, I absolutely love that she developed um, Eleanor in terms of learning to open her heart um, from somebody who is supportive and trusting, um, but not making romance the, the way that she moved through trauma. Eleanor claimed this as her own. She knew she had to move through it herself. She went through all of the really difficult, hard steps to do that um, and is still working on it. But uh, because it's a lifelong process, there's never an end point. It's always an evolution of, of what you need. Um, but this person was supportive and once she made this major leap forward that you were kind of help, hoping that she would do the whole book, then maybe there's the possibility of a true relationship forming. She's ready at that point to move forward. So I really, really appreciated that about this book. I love it. It is about Eleanor and her journey. Um, she is a very lovable curmudgeon uh, that will have you laughing and smiling and crying. Um, and I think there's just a ton of really wonderful things in here um, to relate to on a human level and realize that if we're socially awkward or charismatic, perfect, whatever it is, whatever, um, whatever our surface is, you know, there's always something deeper and it's really nice to, to realize that and look internally and to realize that we're all just doing the best we can with the cards we were dealt, right? We're all coping as best we can. We're trying to show up as best we can in the world um, and that can be improved over time, but only through dedication, hard work, self-care. Um, so I highly, highly recommend this book. It's wonderful. Um, I really hope if you pick it up, you enjoy it and feel free to let me know if you do. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks.